Hello people, my name is El Ispani. <laughs> Bloopers. Hello people, my name is El Ispani and I would like to tell you my story. I was born many, many times ago. Even if I seem, it seems that I'm just a little bunny, in reality, I am 2,000 years old. Oh yes, listen it good. Now, this is my story. My mom was a bunny, really, really sophisticated. And my dad was just a street boy. And they fell in love. And boom, here is me. And you know what? I learned a great lesson that I wanted to be a magician. Yes, because with these years, I could just fly everywhere. Everywhere I wanted. Like this. Look, take a look. So, one day, for this my magical skill, I decided to let the, the nest and to go in the city far, far away. It was not the city, it was the countryside. And you know what? I found a lot of others, much funny people as me. Now, i show you. This is my best friend Choco. I know him since I'm really little. We, we are living in the same neighborhood. But when I decided to go to live by myself with no one taking me company, I asked him if uh, it was okay to come live with me. And he said, of course that I am. I am so tiny, but I need company too. And so, you know what? You, my friend, seems really, really little and we will live together. Let's go! And so, to -tom, to -tom, to -tom, to -tom, to -tom, to -tom, to -tom. They went and they found a beautiful house that was all pink and full of hay and fresh grass. And they had so a good smell of vanilla and strawberries. And they decided that they would have lived in there. So, Alice was really happy of these decisions and every morning was going to the market to find the most delicious, delicious things to eat. It's true, Coco. Is Coco your name in this story? Yes, it's true. So, this uh, special day, Alice decided to go to take some particular herbs that uh, he knows they are uh, really, really uh, loved by Coco. And so, while Coco hides uh, under his belly, Alice go to the market. Do, 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 They go together. They go really, really together. And you know what it does? Even if he shouldn't, he steal it. You know why? Just for the fun of doing it. And Coco say to it, eh, 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 you shouldn't do this stuff, even if it's uh, fun for you. So bring it back. And so Alice bring it back. No, this was just a dream. In reality, Alice has never stolen anything because uh, it's really, really a nice bunny. And you people don't stole anything. I recommend myself. So. Why we go along with the story that has a nonsense? After the market, they went to the forest. When they were in the forest, little Coco said, Hey, let's search for some mushroom and for some plants that I really, really love. And so Alice went away to search for them. And the little Choco remained all by himself. And he said, Ah, oh, what could I do now? I have just to wait for him to come back because I really don't know what I have to find. Yeah, I'm not that expert as him. So I just waited and waited and waited. Just look pretty and fun. And it happened 
happened a thing. It happened that. He happened. It happened that he met a stranger that told him, "Hey, little guinea pig, I'm selling something that maybe you could be interested in." It. Choco said, "Coco said, what are you selling?" And he said, "A magic wand." And he took it. I'm the fairy of the wood, and with this magic wand, you can make all your wishes come true. And Choco obviously said, Oh my god, uh, yes, yes, I take it. Uh, I can't wait to make all my wishes come true. And uh, the little fire of the hood, with mystery and magic, disappeared. See? <laughs> little Coco was so happy that finally had this magic wand. And he couldn't wait for uh, Alice Bunny to come back. So... He could show to him his new uh, stuff and uh, make their days brighter and brighter. Because now, with the, the magic, everything could become true. Alice came back and said, Oh, I'm really sorry, I didn't find uh, any mushroom, but I found a little cake. It's the same. And Coco obviously agreed with him. Obviously, I am fine with this. So... The mission of him was finished and he went home. And Coco said, Well, now that I have this cake and now that I have this magic wand, I have the world at my feet. And you know what I want? I want a love story. Yes, this is what Coco had in his heart. And so he said, Oh, please, please, fire of the wood, bring me the most beautiful enchanting in a pig so that I can fall in love and she will love me back too. And so I said, Whoa, poof. See, now his wish was become true because he didn't know that Alice Bunny was in reality a female. So they could marry and live forever, happily ever after. And they married the same day and he said Coco, would you marry Alice and make of her your princess all of your life? And Coco said Yes, of course I want it. And so he was he became a little prince married and he said Alice, won't you marry this little prince Coco and make of him your prince all of your life? <laughs> and Princess Alice said yes, of course I want it. And so they were they were they were married and they kiss it. And this is the happiest story ever said. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye our